Hey guys, welcome back to Fuga, Melodies of Steel. Last time we started up Chapter 10 and are, I guess, encroaching on the volcanic lands, but we're not quite there yet, so... We had just reached an intermission, so... We need to decide what needs to be done. Actually, let's do this real quick. I want to make friendship! <laughs> I have a bad feeling. Please be careful. See, don't worry. Alright, so that's a 10. It's another 10. I don't know what else I'm going to do in this intermission. I don't have anything to upgrade, really. It might just be a lot of talking to try and make them all friends. I still kind of feel like you're holding back a little. Yes, perhaps you're right. If you think so, it must be true. Do you still dislike yourself and the new new? <laughs> yes, I don't believe this will change until we've are able to get my mother and sister back. We already did. And return to our usual way of life. Sheena, you're too nice. What? It's not your fault the Berman captured your mom and sister. It's not the Nunu's fault either. The Berman are solely to blame for their actions. You don't need to hate yourself or the note or the Nunu <laughs> because of what they've done. Besides, your power has really helped us out. The first time you showed us the light of the new new, it was really beautiful. Like that weird vacuum thing, it was really, really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Malt. I think I'll eventually be able to get over with this. Hmm. And you know, the light wasn't the only beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, come on, you're embarrassing me. You know, how old is she? Well, they're kids, so it doesn't matter. But like, Malt, don't you dare be hitting on somebody you, you are now forced to live with. See let us check our characters. He's 12. How old is Sheena? Nine. That's not that much of a difference, but still, they're little kids. <laughs> we always gotta look at everybody's age. How old is... Yeah, he's just nine. I just... I have to check everything. I need to be completely sure. <laughs> we got a lot of victories. One retries. That was from, like, the beginning of the game. <laughs> Soul Cannon fired zero times. And also, times cleared. So, I guess... What I was saying about a new game plus is most likely true. You could just play the game over and over and over again to get yourself completely maxed out. <gasps> Excuse me. What do I want to do? I'm not quite sure. I probably want to... Hmm, who wants to sleep? May wants to sleep. Hannah wants to sleep. Jin wants to sleep. Probably want May and Hannah to sleep, though. And we need Boron to sleep anyway, just because he's hurt. Uh, Hannah, where's May? May. Everybody gotta sleep. Except for Jin. Jin, you get to stay up and be very unhappy. Alright. Dunk, dunk. Alright, let's see. What else needs to be done? Scrap fishing, exploring ruins. Explore ruins. Uh, someone's hungry. Yeah, you're right. We could probably, well... I don't know if there's any point in eating right now, because there's going to be an intermission right before the boss. So, we could just try and expand the friendships. Uh, hmm. I don't know. You have to make a decision. Sometimes you got to draw a line in the sand and say, who wants to be my friend? No matter the terrain, the Tyranus has, Tyranus has no problem tra traversing through it. <laughs> You know, speaking, like I said, that's not my forte. Alright, another link. We must link, my friend. Linky. It's like a slinky, but you linky. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <sighs> hmm? You're all fidgety. Did you figure something out? So you noticed. No, it was overflowing with this... It, I was overflowing with this creative urge? Okay, um... I've only got bad feelings about this, but hear me out. I might be able to invent something. The Tyranus, the Tyranus has something that is unequivocally different from all other tanks. Yep, it's big. <laughs> An amateur's deduction, which includes yourself. Indeed, you are correct, but that is not all. Its treads are unlike any other, fundamentally. Yes, the treads, they are like little feet. Hmm? No matter the rugged terrain or steep incline, its shock absorbers help it traverse almost any landscape. Oh, would you look at the time? I forgot I need to go do something. Too bad, I will not stand in the way of your duties. I will explain more next time. Y yeah, I'll look forward to it. Malt, you just, you just aren't the smartest, are you? You're just like, 
I, I don't know what you're saying. Let me leave. <laughs> Let me leave. Let's see. I think uh, Brits and Sheena are, like, super close to getting their thing. Yeah. I like everyone. If you believe anything, please believe that. Okay. <laughs> Just, okay. I already knew that. So it doesn't really matter to me. All right. The girl who was rescued and the guy who rescued her. So... We can see them become mega friends. Mega friends. Don't. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Brits, can we? Can I ask about when we escaped from the prison camp? Why did you help me escape? It's related to the real reason I ran away from the army. The people they captured from Gasgo were sent to the camps and were used for horrific experiments. So many have already perished in those experiments. Yes, I thought that might have been the case. The number of prisoners in the camp of occasionally fluctuated. <laughs> uh, noises, please. Uh, calm down. <laughs> it was then I heard you would be next in the experiments. I couldn't stand by and let that happen. Thank you, Brits. You truly saved my life. I gave it everything I had to save you. Someday I, wanted, I want to chase the Burmans from this country and return your peaceful lives back to you all. I wish I could be as kind and strong as you. I'm not strong. But it's strange. I feel like I can muster the courage I need when you're around. The courage to protect you. I feel the same, Brits. When this is all over, I would be so, so happy if we could still be together. We will. I swear it on my tail. Isn't that something that uh, Red would say? At this point, I know it's completely in the distant past. I already, like, looked at the signs. But then somebody commented on an earlier video and saying that it's supposed to take place in the way distant past. And I'm like, yeah, I can see how that works. But yeah, I think Red used to say something like that. I swear on my tail. Let me see. I need status, characters. No, I need to look at affinity. Let's see. Who is he? He's got nothing close. Is anybody close here? There's just a lot that we still need to keep working on uh i guess we could I, game i was like game so you guys are at 10 i guess i could try to cook something or maybe we could go to the ruins i don't know maybe we could go scrap fishing that might be a good idea to get some stats or get some stuff to use all right scrap fishing scrap fishing. level four all right let's try to scrap how much rolls of stuff? We don't got rolls of stuff. All right. We're going to choose the highest difficulty. One, just one help. Uh, keep trying. We will keep trying one day. Yay. We got some random shit. Ah. A lot of friendship. Sheena leveled up. I guess we'll just keep doing this. Could help me out with trying to make this place even better. Wonder how much I got out of that. Those guys are feeling great, though. Oh, I did get... I got enough stuff to upgrade something, I guess. Ooh, the reactor. That's very important. Très important. Very important, I think that means. Très, très bon means very good. Im important means important, so very important. <laughs> Welcome to your French lesson, everybody. I'm a guy who doesn't know French. <laughs> How much more do we have to do this? Uh, we definitely got to go into some of the ruins next time. If we don't, we're not going to be completely good. Uh, okay. Actually, let's not waste that. You can talk to Hannah. Everybody's so lively. I'm sure it's all thanks to that we have a little hope. I didn't want to waste the last of our AP. At least use it in general. Oh, shit. A picture. It says, Sister and Mother. With a forlorn expression, Brit stared at the picture in his pendant. He was shown there, although younger, with a woman and a little girl. I don't see him in the picture. <laughs> they seem like gentle people. Where are they now? We were separated when I went to boot camp, and I lost track of them since. Because of my father's betrayal, they were persecuted by the whole country and had a difficult life. If only they could have escaped to another country and changed their names, maybe it wouldn't have been so hard for them. 
Nodding resolutely, Brits closed the pendant. We still don't know what that letter said. I'm guessing it's going to have something to do with his family. Like, why would he just read it and then rip it up? I don't think. I think it's something important to him that he doesn't want everybody else to know about. But that's just my guess. It's time to kill. Back in the driver's seat of murder. The problem is the lag. Ah. <sighs> Right out of the gate. Also, that showed blue there for a sec. Alright, do you have... You've got nothing that does, like, a multiple hit. I think, uh, Sox does, though. Sox has got an attack, like, minefield. I think it said Jin had that, too. Come on. Yes, I know you love showing me this stuff, and slowing me down, and I don't know why. There you go. <laughs> Took him a while. Flame zone. Hmm. Flame zone might be more useful. Just because it hits more. Well, it has the ability to burn. Too bad when you try and burn somebody, the lag kicks in. This this entire series should just be called Lag. <laughs> lag of the animated series. <laughs> yes, yes. Burn yourself to death. It is your only chance. Yeah, he has Minefield as one of his starting abilities. I guess I didn't know that. Alright, and then you've got Shell Festival. We're wasting all of our SP right out the gate. But whatever, we want them dead. Ooh. Matter of fact. Yep, we wasted 36 SP, but still, we did okay. Sass. Got some good old sass. A lot of level up, but no skills. We need all the skills in the world if we're going to try and defeat harder bosses. I want to hire fucking health skill for one all right yeah that's not gonna be fun it'll make those little annoying pieces of shit even faster um you guys aren't friends are you friends with anybody that you haven't completely confirmed with nope all right um go out may See. Okay, Breezy uploaded another video. I don't know if I'll ever watch Breezy anymore. Breezy's just kind of... I don't know. Like, her videos just aren't funny anymore. Like, her old ones are, but it's like... That was when she actually knew what she was doing. Nowadays, she just... Doesn't do anything funny. I don't get it. It's like, you were once funny. How did you lose all of your funny? Like, how did you lose the ability to make the jokes that only you could make. I don't understand it. I don't know. It's just, she just doesn't know how to be funny anymore. And like, the old jokes were fucking funny as hell. I think when she did more scripted content, that was actually a lot funny. But she just stopped doing scripted content. Maybe because her friends just weren't good at scripting it. Or like, being serious when scripting, but still. It's like, I have, if I ever try anything scripted with my friend, even if it's, like, going to be completely chaotic, it's still going to be hilarious. At least hilarious in my eyes. See, I can tell where there's something. Just sometimes, you can't tell. There we go. We should be good. Just all the yellows start pounding them. In both ways. <laughs> you want to get pounded by my giant grenade launcher? If you name your dick a grenade launcher, <laughs> I don't know if you're a, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like an amazing name for your dick, but still, it just sounds weird. It's time for my grenade launcher. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh, red. Red, the blood of angry memes. And now I need a better dude. Kyle. Alright, that should be fine. And then we've got fucking Boron out here just hitting hard. Is he able to put a dent even if they have, like, armor level 5? Pierce 2. You will all die! Yeah, we're gonna be able to pierce all the way through. It doesn't matter. You are just one man while we are three man. Why didn't they just throw the entire army at us? It's like, you're really dumb for not, like, thinking about, like, just taking out every single tank you got and aiming it 
all at them. It's like, if you're scared of it, just fucking... Just, like, bring out something that'll blow the absolute fuck out of it. I just don't get it. They're just, they're just not that smart. I tell you what, they're just not that smart. I mean, they are just a bunch of fucking weirdos. They let that guy... <laughs> they want to summon a, a fucking, like, weird god monster to come and kill the giant tank that they just can't kill for some reason. When really, if they put all of their tanks on me at the exact same time, they would just destroy this fucking place. I don't understand it. They're dumb. You dumb, man. You dumb. All right. We need a blue. We need two blue. I should be good with that. Let's see. Um, which one needs to be taken care of? You. The one on the right is a lot more dangerous. All right. That's on all aerial enemies. It wouldn't work. Yep. He's almost dead already. You want a link attack? Okay. If you're going to link, I want you to actually show me it. Brave Burst. Get him. Ooh. <sighs> That's going to hurt. That shish going to hurt. We're like below half, so we're going to have to start dealing with shit again. Kyle, no! When you're depressed, that makes things worse. You're useless when you're depressed. Um, yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Um... If only we could kill that thing before it gets to us. Maybe? If I can hope. All right, we killed it in time. That's good. And we can use Ballad. So that means that we're all better now. The sucky thing is just that Kyle is depressed. We just... We need to find a way to cure depression on the battlefield. I just go like... You know what? It's, it's not so bad. <laughs> I just become... I become so like fucking... Um, what is it called? I have no idea what the word is. Um... Like, uh, condescending on the battlefield. It's like, it's not so bad. It's like, my fucking leg got shot off. It's not so bad. It's like, you don't need that leg. Right? Right? And it's like, what? I, what? <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's switch in Wappa. So that we can... Kinda slow him down. Okay, we didn't take too much damage. Alright, it should be dead now. <laughs> no point in putting down the armor. We can just fucking kill it. Alright. Now we have to move on to the split, and like usual, I'm gonna take the fucking easy path. What you got now? What you got for cutscene? The Tarnus encroached further into the volcanic lands. <gasps> oh god. Don't worry. <laughs> the further they advanced, the more scathing attacks by the Berman army seemed to become. They must be protecting something if they're so adamant about holding their ground. There's no mistaking it. Your goal must be up ahead. Encouraged by the voice, the children slunk further into harm's way. The voice seems very talkative currently. This is our moment of truth. Oh boy, this is getting exciting. Exciting. <laughs> we'll get them back soon. Come on, guys. I hope you're right. Black screen. <laughs> I thought something like fucking like dramatic was gonna happen. Like, holy shit! But they didn't know that they were gonna have to suck ass to get through. <laughs> but it's like no, it just dramatic stop for nothing. There's another split path. How long is this level gonna be, man? already seems already kind of long from like getting from the beginning to the intermission so it's like how long are you guys willing to go let's see uh we should probably bring out another blue just to help delay the big old depression tank get out of here you little fuckers 
Little motherfuckers. We also shocked one of them. Let's see, siphon shot. Well, we need SP, but I guess getting HP back when we already have full HP is fine, I guess. Yes. Let us destroy the one down there. I hate depression tank. You will not be calling for your friends, for your friends never come, my friend. Friend, Friendly friends will never be there to fr friend you on Facebook, I guess. Whatever the hell that means. Facebook is weird. The only time I go on Facebook is to watch for Operation Decoded, which were the guys that uh, translated uh, Digimon World Redigitize and Redigitize Decode. Because they're working on translating uh, Digimon Story Lost Evolution. And from what they said, they're really close. And I really wanted to play that. But I had fallen out of my Digimon binge. And uh, it didn't come out quite quite then. So I have to wait just that little bit longer. And besides, I still need to beat uh, Decode. <laughs> it's just been... I haven't been playing Decode. It was really hard to record anyway, because I had to, like, uh, what was it? I had to record it via a camera. Like, aiming a camera down at a 3DS and then recording it that way. But I've done some testing with my, uh, PC. And now it seems like it can run that game pretty damn perfectly, so... Uh, once we get back to that game, I'm planning on trying to move the save data over to Citrus... I don't know how well that's going to go. It may just end up in, like, it corrupting or something. But just playing it on the 3DS was such a fucking pain. It was, like, it was so annoying to do. Because, like, fucking, I'd have to turn off all the lights off in my closet, which is my recording studio, pretty much. Then I'd have to bring out my tripod, hook on a uh, thing that would hold my iPhone onto it. And then, uh, at that point, I would have to, uh... What would I have to do? After I've got the iPhone on it, I'd have to plug the iPhone into the PC via, like, the cord and shit. And I'd have to record it via, uh, OBS. So, it was like a million different cords. And at the same time, you can't record audio with it. You'd have to, like, via the, uh, like, the phone, because it wouldn't sound good. So I had to plug in the, uh, audio via, like, an aux cord into the, uh, computer. Which was also a pain. Just because of how, like, short slash long and messed up the cord is, because the, the cord is weird. The one gigantic cord I have is kind of annoying to use sometimes. Fuck you guys actually hit, please. Didn't kill him, though. You're a piece of shit. Heavy thrust. Wow, good job, guys. It's all because you can't hit your fucking target. Alright. But yeah, after all those cords being plugged in... It's hard to play with the thing on the table, so I had to use, like, an application on it to control the 3DS itself with a PS4 controller. So with all that, you have to sit behind the tripod and try and look over your shoulder to kind of look into it, and at the same time, it's hard to sit like that. So in the end, it was just, it was not a good recording setup, I'll tell you that. So if I can get Citrus working, even if it lags a bit, I'm completely fine with that. I just don't want want it lagging too much so that's completely, like, just unplayable slash unwatchable. But, and again, we've had a lot of videos that are unwatchable, pretty much. Fuck you! You guys need to hit the big flying monster doohickeys. They are very dangerous if they get the ability to call for reinforcements. Hmm, yeah. No, it's fine. We can keep going. Glitter. Gee witter. Gwitter. <laughs> but yeah, it was just such a pain, and that's kind of why I stopped playing it for a while. It wasn't that the game sucked. It was just that the recording method was so asinine. And at the same time, I had already recently played the original Digimon World Redigitized, so I was already burnt out from the game being, well long and then the game i had already played the game before so it was like i don't think i need to be playing this right now so i was like nah we're stopping that's where we end for now 
I will come back to it. I definitely will, because I do want to see the extra parts, because Decode has, like, some extra bits in it that, like, pertain to the original game and aren't in the original game. So it's much better to see, like, what had changed between it, because that's the entire reason why uh, people had uh, fucking, what is it, translated it to see what it actually was saying and stuff. So it's like, because, like, one of, like, a big character that's, like, used a lot in different uh, Digimon games gets their start in that game. Like, the character is reused, like, in something like Cyber Sleuth. So it's like, if you're going to understand that character in that game, you might want to play the game she's originally from. And it's like, I, I just never had played that game because it was all in Japanese. Kind of sucks that it was never in English, though, because, like... It's a pretty good game. Redigitize is an amazing game. And putting it on the 3DS would have given it a lot more room to, like, be sold. Because Redigitize originally was on the uh, PSP. Like, <laughs> I love the PSP. The PSP is, like, one of my favorite handheld systems ever. But it did not sell well. And then keeping it in Japan? I don't know. I think a Digimon game would have worked during that time. But nowadays... Digimon games work pretty much at any time, because fucking fans are that rabid. And I'm that rabid as well. Alright. We're gonna go down the safe route. Just because. But yeah, I just felt that, like, it was so hard to record that if I were to do it again, I would need to switch over to the computer. And I don't know that process of switching fucking, uh... Switching save files over to figure out what the hell to do. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Please? Okay. I don't care about you over there. You're easy. I just don't want this guy fucking us up. Alright. Now we can work on getting rid of you. Ugh, we're gonna have to use a great restore soon. Because if we get to the boss fight and we don't have the uh, SP to deal with the entire thing, we'll have to be fucking filling up on that shit during the entire time. And I would much rather, I much rather not want to do that. Ugh, but I have thought about other Digimon games as well, like Digimon World Three or Digimon World Two. Those games, like, Digimon World 3 is really good. Like, it's an, it's kind of more Pokemon-ish than a Digimon game, but it still is really fun with its RPG shit, and the story actually being kind of like a quest in a way. But, uh, that's a very long game as well. And then there's Digimon World 2, which is just the weirdest game ever. Like, it's... There's no good way of describing what Digimon World 2 is. It's like a mystery dungeon game, but you use Digimon, and you run around this tank, and, like, the food is, like, so low. Like, your hunger bar is always so low, so you only got, like, a little bit of time to walk around the dungeon. And, like, Digimon's never been known for being a dungeon crawler. Like, have you seen the reviews on Digimon World 4? I may enjoy that game nowadays, but when I was a kid, I fucking hated that game. That game was horrible in my eyes, and it still is. It's horribly made, but I have fun with it because it's so bad, and I can play it with friends. But back then, it was so confusing and so hard. The dungeon crawling shit was just so stupid to me. And even nowadays, I can say, that dungeon shit is so fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't know why... I don't... I don't know why they decided that was a good idea for a game. I like it, but I don't like it the way that most people would, like the people who made it would want me to like it. I don't like it because it's good. I like it because it's four player and I can play it with my friends and I can annoy them with it. That's like one of the big things. It's like whenever I want to annoy the fuck out of someone, I bring out Digimon World 4 and I go, how about this game? <laughs> And they're like, oh, okay, Digimon. They, they're already scared because it's like, oh, no, it's Digimon again. But it's like, okay, okay, we'll play this game with you. And then I show it up. They make their characters. And then it's so hard to kill anything. They'll be like, why did you want us to play this game? And I'm like, to torture you. 
<laughs> I want you to feel as much pain as I did. Sack. I want to make you feel like a sack. <laughs> that game is just... I do want to play it one day. Not, not single player, though. I want to play that with three other friends. Just to fucking have all that madness. But I don't know when that's ever going to happen. I don't know if it ever will happen. Just because of how infuriating the game is. And how hard it would be to try and get, like, everybody to want to, like, do it, actually. <laughs> see, speed. What does Kyle give again? That's not useful. <laughs> Accuracy is alright, but it's like, uh, I think I can just keep going with this. <laughs> but yeah. I would really love to do a full playthrough of that, but with, <laughs> with how my friends are now, they would just, like, stare at me and be like, no, we are not playing all the way through this game with you. And it's like, I'm going to have to get another gang of people to do it. Because if they don't want to do it, if, if they say they don't want to do it, they're going to bitch and complain the entire time if I try and make them do it. So it's like, I'd have to get, like, a new group of people. One of my friends was at least kind of okay into it. I mean, he doesn't play a lot of video games, so any video game is, like, kind of special for him anyway. But it's like... My other friends, like John and Tyler, they just... It's a rejection. It's like, out of fear. Their fear of Digimon. <laughs> they have their fear of Digimon. <sighs> it's like, that's my pain. When I see one of my friends miss, I go... <sighs> Alright. Let's sue this shit up. But let's lag while that happens. But yeah, I'm planning on doing that someday in the future. I don't know when, I don't know how, but it it will indeed happen at some point. Yes, 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 you've got your stupid spear ring. I got texts on Discord. What does Discord say? Oh, that's just a bunch of random fucking... What are they called? Channels I'm in? Uh, servers I'm in? That I don't really pay attention to? <laughs> Most people have that. It's like, they have servers on their Discord where it's just like a bunch of random people that you don't even really care about, but you have them just because you're a part of them. Let's see. Why can't you guys hit a single shot? Let's put on another energy cell. I do not want to run out of SP. Are you back? Nope, you're not back to normal. You're still scared. You pussies. You're fine. Okay. We need to switch off, uh, like, Wappa. We need, uh, Soxen to actually, like, hit. We need them to attack. Let's see. You need to actually hit. There you go. Get him, Socks. Alright. And then I can heal up one last time. And then hopefully Boron can, like, make the shot and finish him off. Yes. Okay. We should be good. But yeah. Uh, it's just hard to play games with my friends when they're not really, like, into the same games I am. Like, the one thing they love to do is play fucking Dead by Daylight every single night. And I'm like... I'll play with you guys sometimes, but I'm not going to play it more than maybe, like, a couple times. <laughs> it's like, I can't play that game, like, over and over again. It's like, wow, we have to get to rank 1. I don't want to play with rank 20, so we got to keep our ranks up. And it's like, if you have to do that much to, like, keep yourself fighting against harder enemies or, like, harder players, then what's the point in even playing in the first place if it takes that long to get to that? It's like, in the end, I just don't feel like I have that much fun with that game. All right, let us upgrade our power. I guess we can do two of them. I like cannons. And then machine gun. Yep. Ah, uh, I go, ah, my dog, that ain't good. Well, everybody, everybody pitched in to help out Sheena. All right, let's get up there and fucking get everybody back into the Everybody back to rest. Nobody is hurt. Oh, wait. That's not how you bring Kyle back. Where the fuck are you, Kyle? 
He's down there. I'm coming for you, bitch. You're gonna be my friend and you're gonna accept it. Friendship beam, go! Look, back off. I wanna be alone. We're together. Wow, he's all better now. <laughs> now he's just back to grading his fucking nails. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um, we need food. We must be prepared for this battle. We've got baked potatoes. And that's it. We can make steak fries and baked potatoes. At least it'll always be ready. I don't know. I don't know what happens if you were to eat baked potatoes twice. You'd have twice the baked potatoes. All right, we've got some kind of upgrade. And then let's go scrapping. We've got one. Okay. One, two. Yay. We got some random bullshit. Nowadays, we're just scrap fishing a ton just so that we kind of... <laughs> I want more stuff. Uh, oh, we got something. I thought we were going to get nothing. Alrighty then. So, I guess we'll just... Ooh. What are we good on? I guess we can upgrade those two now. We're still not good on that. Next, we should really be looking for, like, uh, a ruin or something to upgrade our upgrades. <laughs> Alright. That was quick. I'm getting better at figuring out how to do that very quickly. <laughs> Let me open this door. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody fucked a dinosaur. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> Alright. That factory has a lot of wheels. Maybe it's like a giant sewing center. <laughs> What's going down? What's going down? All the steam let out. They didn't see it until they reached the center of the Berman Fortress. Oh! Hello there! Whatever the fuck you are. It was a gigantic war tank, eerily reminiscent of the Tartarus. Tarnus. It's beyond anything we've faced before. The children shuddered. I see. So that's the Steel Devil. What a wonder to finally set eyes upon it. Such repulsive splendor. From a gigantic machine, Sivan Hawks, a distinctively high-ranked officer, appeared, command, appeared to commend the Taranus. Appeared to commend the Taranus. Taranus, is that right? The devil from the legend that defied the lost god, leading them to annihilate each other. The voice on the radio spoke as though to answer his question. However, it came not only from the Taranus, but from also from Hawks' side. That's right, Hawks. Now, my children, allow me to introduce you to the Tarascus. The Tarascus? So it looks like she's been leading us into killing him. Or he's been... She's been leading us to him. So yeah, she was a bad guy. Great. <laughs> I already guessed it last episode. It is the heart that controls the Vanagat. The Nargand. <laughs> The lost god of legend, which now sleeps under the capital city of Parasia. <laughs> At first, Haux seemed to be taken back by the voice, but quickly regained his composure, simply nodding. That voice guided them, guided them, guided them as well. <laughs> now I see. She prepared an elaborate stage for us. Very well. Allow me to use this to my advantage. So they brought. She so brought both sides to each other. He can also hear the voice? How is that possible? She seems to know about the tank and the Berman officer, Hawks. It seems like Hawks just realized we could also hear the voice on the radio. What does this mean? What should I do? The children were th thoroughly confused, unable to understand what Hawks and the voice on the radio were discussing. I said it quick enough before she could start reading. Allow me to introduce myself properly. My name is Sivan Hawks, Colonel General of the Berman Army. Appointed by the Emperor himself, I am the Supreme Commander of the Gazgo Invasion. As foretold in the legend, the heart of the lost god Van Vanagand, <laughs> its core, was undoubtedly here. These good people of Gazgo evac... Evis... I know that word. X... Cavated, there you go, <laughs> the core so that we could integrate it into Tarakis. Tara Skis. 
Tarascus. Tarascus. Okay. Yet it kept refusing to activate. But the Taranus brought the core back to life. Almost as though the two were drawn to each other. So it's like it's brother in a way. Well, we have to fight a tank that is pretty much just the same as ours. The Tarascus, letting out a foreboding wail, began to shake violently. It also lagged the game when it did that. Well, this is no good. We have to fight an entire tank that's pretty much the same as our tank. The Taranus likewise began shaking as though resonating with the other machine. It appears a strong power is needed to resonate with it, with the core to awaken the Tarascus. I thank you, children of the Taranus. You have done well and grown much to make it here. Resonating power? What does he mean? Like it's responding to something from the Taranus? Indeed, it seems that the tank used a strong energy wave from the Taranus to awaken. Essentially, the Taranus activated the Berman tank simply by coming here. What do you mean? We shouldn't have come? I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about this. We suffered much to come this far, only to awaken the enemy's weapon. All the children could do was stand in their own powerlessness and guilt. So maybe the weird voice was right. Still, we didn't have any choice. <laughs> Well then, O oh great Tyrannus, the Steel Devil, allow me to test how far the capabilities of the Tarascus truly go. Well, you've got two random cannons. We've got a lot of guns. When General Hawks activated the, ta the Tarascus, a terrible shockwave spread through the area. Throughout the area. This energy is undeniably the core of the Venagand. I've waited so long for my revenge. So, are you... Who's speaking here? <laughs> Maybe... Is the Tarascus the voice? As they received the brunt of the shockwave, the voice on the radio began to change, speaking robotically. Uh, alert. Fist... Uh, function. Attack inoperable. Reboot. At that moment, the voice on the radio was replaced by the appearance of the girl with light speaking in a much more fluid tone than before. Looks like she's been able to make her way out of that. Switching to control and defensive measures, prioritizing crew survival. Ah, mommy, the new, the new new is going high, haywire? Ah, this is it, we're goners. Unable to retreat, system rebooting, proceed with offensive action. So I'm guessing we need to fight the Tarascus enough so that we can somehow get the hell out. Well, I did not see this coming. I did. I was figuring out that the voice was indeed bad, but like, I didn't know we'd be fighting another tank that's exactly like our tank. Well, this is going to be scary. This might be the first fight I actually fail. Um, what's our course of action? The top one is weak, but the bottom one is very strong. The bottom one's got armor as well, and it looks like a giant soul cannon-like item. So. I guess I'm glad I put some of our buffs up. Um, what's the plan? Analyze. Mana Garm. After charging, it's after charging, it fires a powerful attack that inflicts injuries. If you don't defend it, it will cause tremendous damage. Injured allies will be knocked out if they are injured again. When the m mana, ugh, the Mana Garm's HP reaches zero, it will temporarily be unable to fire. Okay. Alright, Tarascus level one? Okay. I don't know why it says level one. <laughs> Maybe that's just like for other shit. Man, that's a big attack. Alright. 25,000. A gigantic tank that greatly resembles the Taranus. It similarly fights by switching between three weapons. Fight while paying close attention to the characteristics of each weapon. Extreme caution is required of the powerful Managar main gun. Okay, so... what? How much health does... Wrong one. How much health does Managarm have? Managarm does not have that much health. So, I guess the strat is to keep beating up on the Managarm so that it won't fire its gigantic laser. And then, while that's happening, beat the fuck out of Tarascus. This is gonna be this is gonna be uh, a thing. We need something. <laughs> um, 
Who is all close? You're close. I just need to be able to pierce the, uh... I guess I want to pierce the, uh, fucking... The shield it's got. I don't know if it's gonna... I don't know what it's gonna do. Um... Okay, we just... It's just trial and error at this point. Trial and error and error and error. Okay. Hopefully we don't have to use the soul cannon. I don't want to do that. We're so close to the end, I don't want to use it. Alright, it's pretty weak. Why is the Tarnus handling so poorly? Come on, move it! It's moving like everything's completely burnt out. What's going on? Everybody, snap out of it. We've got to avoid taking as much damage as we can. Swift Hunt. Okay, it's not extremely strong. Three more turns. You approach? Oh no. He's like, I approach. So three turns. Too bad the lag is here. There we go. So we need to watch out for that thing. Um. Sure. Get it with the brave burst. Ooh. Now it's a smice, a smicy meatball. Um. Let's see. Is there any way we could kill it fast enough? See if we had Jin out, we could kind of delay it. If Jin's out here, we can delay it. Push it back and kill it. But remember, it it regens its health, so it's going to come back soon. Let's see. I'm making snap decisions currently. We can't do anything there. Who should be who should be of our utmost importance? You should be. Since you are very dangerous. All right. If we could delay it that much further. Jin. Jin is not happy. Alright. We just need to delay it just that little bit more. If we could kill it, then that would be extremely good. Um. Let's see. Attack an enemy. Attack an enemy. Is there one that attacks all enemies? Just other than the piercing shot. Whatever. Let's just do it. The more we delay, the longer it's going to take for him to get all his shit back in order. Push it back. That's not good. Ugh. Get rid of that thing. Alright, the mana garm is fucked up. Now we can kind of switch over to... Uh, a massive attack. Alright. No, this is fine. We just need to start massively attacking them. Alright. Grenade launcher, go. We also need to start healing. At this point, we feel very much not good. Let's see. Jin, go in for... Actually, we can save the link for later, really. I'm not too worried about it hurting us a ton. I need to be worried about, like, if, uh, the mana garm comes back. We need to hit that thing with everything we got. Oh, God. He's just like, let me attack more, though. <laughs> um, we could switch them up for someone like, uh, who's got more damage? You do. Switch it up for now, so that we could just output more damage regularly. I want to save the link attack for that thing coming back. Um, ballad. It's time for the happy ballad. We're doing okay. It's got its swift hunt again. I'm just worried about that thing coming back. Alright, it's back to normal. And it's got everything back. Alright, at least we got everything back in tandem. Um, Jin. Ooh, everybody's got everything. Except for, uh, Boron. We need to be worried about it. Uh, doing anything completely horrible. I fucked it up. Um. I need to pierce it, but we've only got one piercer is the problem. Alright. Uh. 
pierce shot one. Because we need to pierce it twice is the problem. Okay. Boron, you get out here and you delay it. And then... Jin, you switch out for... Our boy. Let's see. And then double pierce shot. That cannon just scares the, the ever-living lights out of me. Getting rid of it is a good idea. Alright. Link up. Get everything you got out of it. Ooh. Now that's a good delay. I can't switch. We're just going to have to do it now. Carbon Storm. Now that's some good attack. Not my approach. Okay. We need to delay that thing once more so that we can kill it. Who has more damage? Who hits harder? Welcome to the new show, Who Hits Harder. Alright. As much damage as we can output. Now it's switched over to grenade launcher mode. Well, at least he doesn't attack. Um... Let's see, Ballad, Smoke Grenade. Uh, it's a weak attack, so there's no reason in doing that. Yes, yes, yes. I know you can hit twice. It doesn't matter to me. Um, nothing counts. Uh, I guess he'd kill it either way. It's so close to death, you'd kill it either way. Now, if we could pull out some yellows. Uh, do you have any connection? Not really. Um, speed. Okay, I'm just checking to see. Because if we've got all yellows, we can delay the top half. Even though there's no point in really doing it, I just find it cool. That's kind of cool. Alright. If we could inflict smoke on it, that'd be amazing. I don't know if you can. Uh, stun grenade, 30%. Flame grenade, 0%. That's 100%, but that doesn't help me. Um, burning spirit, nope. Uh, flame grenade. The stun grenade seems like the best idea. You know, I can't see what's happening. <laughs> if I can't see what's happening, then uh, this is not going to be good. Yeah, unable to use the gun. I know. I killed it. Let's see, black force, reinforce. Uh. Can't do that. Smoking it? I could try to smoke it. I would much rather it just not be around, though. Maybe I can switch over to having, uh. Boron back. And then. So that we could have more hits. For now. Alright, so... I need... Uh, just a regular lullaby. That should be fine. Get us the rest of the way back up our health. Do you... You have overload, don't you? Go for the overload. Ooh, that was strong. Let's see. No point in doing that. Triple strike. He's strong, man. He's strong. Yeah, you inflict your fear. That's great, but I can cure fear. So, sorry, man. <laughs> it ain't gonna work that way. Uh, it would be a good idea to inf get rid of fear. Just because I want Boron to attack again. Next turn, I can probably have uh, fucking Hannah put on like another SP thing. Just so that we can get some SP back. Ooh. Yeah, I think... Uh, <laughs> I like the crits. Keep going. Alright, it's switching over to cannon mode. It's at its last legs. It very much does not like that we're messing with it. Alright. Um... Switch. We need blues. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what is the best idea. Um. 
It's less damage, but it gives him time to be less fearful. Um, let's see. That's what I was going to do. I was going to bring out a great energy cell. <laughs> I was like, what's my next step? All right, the cannon's back to normal. I knew something bad was going to happen. Some good damage, man. That's some good damage. Um, I'm just deciding. I'm like, what decision is best currently? Piercing shot. Yeah, you two don't have a link. I don't know why I'm linking you two up. Let's see. Uh, Megaton blast. That seems like a good idea. I can hit both. Au revoir. Now that's a good delay. All right. Let's... Actually, how are we doing on health? Health is kind of a worry. 300. That's not a... It's close. It's close by me. <laughs> Those are numbers that I feel are close. Not the double fang. Ugh, that's very fucking dangerous. Um, no, you gotta stay in. You gotta fucking take off his uh, one last armor piece. And then we can just start wailing at him. Yes, yes, I know you're charging. I don't like that, but I know you are. Alright. Uh, there's a 30% chance to blitz, so that would be a good idea. Alright. Let's see, what do I want to do? I could heal, but I think at this point it's much better just to attack. We must not give up on our on our awesome battle. I can push back the top one. <laughs> Alright, both are delayed. Now we just need to get rid of the regular ass cannon. That is very important to murder. Okay. This is gonna hurt. We need to heal. If we don't heal, we're fucked. We could push it back, but at this point we need health. If we don't got health, we're fucked with. Alright, it's killed anyway, so it's fine. Health. <laughs> Alright. We need to pierce the top half. Without it, we're fucked. See, but we need a healer at the same time, so it's kind of like this balancing act is very much. I'm falling, I'm falling over to the right, guys. Trapeze just isn't it for me, man. Let's see, a regular lullaby, and if I could just force in three reds, we could probably do, could probably just take him out. But I just, I don't feel safe enough to do that. I don't feel safe, guys. I don't feel safe. His damage is just a little bit too strong. Let's see. Link gauge fills a bit more. Um, I would rather wait for uh, him to be completely weak. At this point, I don't know if we'll have that much time, so we'll fuck him over anyway. Okay. We're going to wait. We're going to wait until he has no armor left. One pierce to save us all. Alright. We're switching in three reds. Let's see. Let's see. Friendship? Yep, friendship is magic, motherfuckers. Alright. Ooh, did we get it? Yes. He's not dead, but we, we blocked it off for as long as we could. <laughs> Got a lot of experience out of it. I didn't know what that one said, but don't worry about it. Alright. Is this the power of the great devil that plagued the Burman army? I'd have to say I'm disappointed. Hey, I kicked your ass. It's always like that. It's like, oh, no, no, I'm too good. It can't be. It's not a scratch, even after giving it all we've got. With this level of attack, it is simply to counterbalance with the energy shield of the Van of the Vanaguard's core. Damn. 
if the if the Tarinus would move properly. Those Burman must have felt like must have felt like this when we were fighting the Tarinus. Perhaps due to the momentary malfunction, the Tarinus the Tarinus was unable to make the slightest dent on the Tar Tarcus. Tarcus. <laughs> Just then, the Gasco army broke through the Burman defenses to support the Taranus. Th there are two giant tanks? What in the... That creepy-looking one must be the Burman. Quickly, surround it before the before Lieutenant Muscat's get here. Muscat gets here. Look, they're on our side, right? Come on, you slowpokes. Where you been? But, but, can they beat that big tank? Maybe, with their help, maybe we can. It doesn't matter how many of you there are. You cannot possibly stand against the Tarakus, the heart of a god. Sometimes you need a devil to kill a god. Detecting exponential energy spike. Forcing deployment of the emergency shield. Tarakus, wipe them out. Holy shit. Tanks blocking. At least we delayed enough time to block, but I think all those people just next to us are going to die. <laughs> In a single blast, the majority of Gasco's army's tanks were reduced more than clumps of metal, melted metal. Only the Taranus managed to avoid the damage, but the sudden activation of its shield caused the engine to overheat. We avoided every single shot from that cannon, goddammit. <laughs> I thought we had won, but I guess not. Everybody else is dead. No way. The Gasco army, they're all gone. No, it can't be. That power is insane. We're still standing thanks to the Taranus, but... What should I do? There seems to be a problem with adjusting the energy supply from the core. Thanks for helping me test it. <laughs> there is still much to be done. If you excuse me, children of Taranus. Children of Taranus. With a satisfied expression, Hawks began to move the monstrous Taracus forward. Wow, that was scary. Th that that freaked me out. Hey, move it. Why aren't we moving? Come after me if you want. I'll be waiting for you at the capital of Parasia. With the lost god Vanagard, of course. Fuga. We kicked his ass, though. Several hours later, after Hawks broke away in the Tarkas, heading towards Parasia, the children could finally breathe a sigh of relief. It wasn't until the children finally realized Brits had vanished as well. Brits left the crew. Well, he's one of my favorite characters, so fuck. <laughs> I'm searching him back in for Kyle. Kyle, get out of here. Well, what about family? With the remaining Burman troops, Sock... Socks. <laughs> oh no, Socks is the enemy. Hawks is set off to Parasia aboard the Tarakus. Meanwhile, the children discovered the last camp in the volcanic lands and rushed to free the prisoners. Look, everybody's here. We're here to rescue you. Mommy, Daddy, where are you? Ah, we can all see our families. Too bad the entire world's about to die. <laughs> the children were overjoyed to tears to the sight of the freed prisoners. Their friends and families. Everybody was there. After such a long struggle, they were Finally reunited. Whoa. Thank God. Everybody's safe. Mom, I'm so glad you're alright. I wish we could see, uh... <laughs> the, I wish I could see your parents, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess this makes us heroes, huh? Thank goodness. You're all safe. We did it. We saved you. There's Grandma and Grandpa. Mommy, Daddy. Mom, Dad, it's me. I'm so happy everyone's safe. I'm glad for you guys. And so it ends a job well done. Gosh, I'm such a great leader. Among the freed prisoner, prisoners, the prisoners, the attention of the children was drawn to a particular mother and daughter. Ah, they looked exactly like the two pictured in Brits's pendant. Inquiring where she might know Brits, the woman nodded, saying that she was his mother. After Brits left for the army, they continued to be persecuted, so they fled the country in order to protect what was left of their family. When the children told of the times Brits fought beside them, the woman could not suppress her tears. For such a long time, she regretted abandoning Brits when they fled the country, knowing that they may not ever see him again. 
You should be here, Brits. We found your mom and sister. Should we look for Brits? That stupid idiot. Why do you have to leave at a time like this? Oh no, not the radio. Radio, what do you gotta tell us today? Just as the children were overjoyed with their reunion, the voice on the radio spoke. My children, listen carefully. The battle is not over yet. With the Tarakis, Hawks is heading to Parasia to awaken an ancient weapon of destruction that lies under the capital. If that happens, the whole country will be annihilated. Everyone, even you and your rescued families, will be engulfed by the evil flames of that ancient weapon destruction, the Nargand. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be Vanguard, but the Nargand, it doesn't have a U in it. The voice no longer spoke in its mechanical tone from before. You said that the ancient weapon of destruction, Vanagar? Why would it be under Parasia? Why would the Berman want to activate something like that and destroy all of Gazco? Why now? Why now when we finally got our families back? Only the Taranus has the power to avert this threat. Hurry! You must chase after Tarakus. Now! Tarakus. But why would we trust her? Like, these these are the two parts of, like, the giant weapon, right? Why would we want that? <laughs> Man, there's really no other way. If Gasco is destroyed, everyone will get hurt. I don't want to see that happen. After we manage to save everyone, we can't let it all be for nothing. Well, it's time to hop in our tank and head out, I guess. It wasn't an easy decision for the children. Not only were they terrified of the destructive power of the Tarakas, they... But they also began to doubt the voice that had guided them this far. I would doubt it too. How unfair it was to finally reunite with their families, only to be parted again. And the Gazco army no longer possessed the strength to oppose the Tarakas. Physically and mentally exhausted from their forced labor, the adults in the camp were unable to lend a hand. In the meanwhile, if they waited for reinforcements from the Gazco army, the Venargand might awaken in Aprasia and set the country ablaze. And although they didn't intend to activate the Tarakas, the children still were still indirectly responsible for its revival. Together with the Taranis, we're the only ones left to protect this land and the people we love. As the adults pleaded for them to stay, the children reluctantly boarded the Taranis with heavy hearts. And they set out once more. Where are the rest of the gang? This is the gang from the beginning of the game. <laughs> We've got to protect everybody, because I'm the oldest. That's right. This is what we need to do to save everyone. For crying out loud. Looks like I've got no choice. You can count on me. Have dinner waiting for us. Statistics say the odds are in our favor to save everyone. Grandma, Grandpa, just wait a little longer. <laughs> we'll be back soon. All right, I'll give it a shot. There's nothing else we can do to save everyone, right? There's no turning back now. We'll see this to the end. Ah, gee. Nothing will get done unless I lead the way. Alrighty then. Fuga. There's a lot of cutscenes, I tell you. A lot of cutscenes are happening. Anyway, we gotta head all the way to fucking Parasia. Inside the Tarakus. Tarakus. Brits. So, you're the son of that traitor Spritz. Unlike your father, do you pledge your loyalty to the Burman Empire? Of course I do. Very well. If you don't, it will only spell trouble for your mother and sister. You understand that, right? Yes, sir. Good. Now tell me all about the Tyrannus. You will serve us you will serve us well on many fronts, private Brits. Yes, sir. Glory to the Burman Empire. So he's being forced to do this because he doesn't know that his mother and sister are actually safe. Dumb kid. <laughs> so he's been evil the entire time. We just didn't really know it. I mean, he's not actually evil. He's just being forced to do this. He must have fucking, like, tampered with the Taranis before anything happened. I mean, that was already being shown throughout the cutscene beforehand. It was like, oh, I just fucked with something accidentally. I tried to fix it. But it's like, no, he just fucked with it. That's all he did. <laughs> anyway, this episode's gone on far enough, so... Next time, we're going to go on to... I don't think this is the final chapter. This is probably the one before it. So, I'll see you guys next time.